Uh, again, my name is Matt Marsh. I am a wildlife biologist with the U.S. Forest Service right here at, at Tenasket, at the ranger station here. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I've grown up here my whole life. There's a lot of faces here I recognize, from my old doctor to my old Spanish teacher. So uh, it's, it's good, good to see those faces. Um, and then a few folks from the ranger district as well. Um, so I'm really pleased to be here tonight and, and, and frankly quite honored that I was asked to, to present something. And um, when, when Julie asked, well, is there something that you could present? Kind of one of the first things that came to mind was I do a lot of work in the springtime surveying uh, for great gray owls. So I thought, well, maybe if, if no one's ever done a survey or a, a presentation on great grays, I would, I would do that. So here I am tonight, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And also, um, we'll, we'll do quite a bit of interaction tonight. And then I'll also ask um, from uh, Lee Johnson here, he's also a local resident in the, in the Highlands that everybody knows for the most part. And he's got a lot of anecdotal evidence as well by living with the owls um, on his property. And hopefully he'll be able to share some of those experiences as well. So um, again, um, my background with Great Grays is that um, for our survey season during the spring, I go out uh, early morning or late night, the typical owl hooting period when you can, when you can find them. Everybody's either going to sleep or, or fast asleep. Um, I'm just starting my, my day, so I usually go out and uh, I'll have survey routes that I that go to. And for our Forest Service projects, we are uh, mandated to, to survey four great gray owls if the habitat's present. So that's where my experience comes from, going out and observing, um, trying to find nests, trying to find individuals, and then uh, managing those forests um, to uh, maintain, promote, and preserve uh, habitat for not only the gray gray, but uh, a array of wildlife. So, um, as long as, um, uh, you know, we're getting our, our mandates out in, in that. So, um, I guess without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. And before before I get started, I wanted to say, um, again, thanks to Julie and, and the OHA organization for allowing me to come speak, and, and that's pretty hard to to come up and talk after that great song. Um, and as, as y'all walked in, you, you probably saw the, the, the owl there. Um, that's a mount that came from the Republic Ranger District. It was a, a salvage permit owl that um, somehow uh, passed away or died here years ago. And it was an old mount that, it's the only great, great mount I know of um, around close. And um, I was able to, to borrow it for the night's presentation. So. Um, take a look. A lot of people were looking at the uh, before the um, show started here, and then afterwards, feel free to, to look. Um, I just ask that you don't touch it because um, it's pretty old and um, not mine. So, uh, but, it, but it really shows all the all the features of the gray gray. And everybody says, "Oh, I've seen gray grays before," and then they see the the owl, or actually um, see the mountain, or actually see a, a live owl in the, in the wild, and they say. I, I've never seen one of those before, so now um, you can really get a good uh, perspective of how large they are and um, why they're why they're so special and, and beautiful at the same time. If anybody's ever driven around this building, a lot of locals have during the daylight. They've seen the mural on the outside, right? So on this back on this back corner here, um, when this mural was getting painted, Dave uh, called and, and asked for, for some advice, I guess, of what's, what species would, would go good on the mural that would represent the highlands. Well, the first thing that came to my mind was the great gray owl, and so and the next, next time you're in the, in the daytime, come over here and look, and you'll see a, a really beautiful picture of the great gray uh, sitting in some aspens on the, the northeast corner of this building, so kind of a special, special creature overall. Presentation, their photos are, are Lee. Lee Johnson, uh, Tom Munson, and then uh, Terry. Uh, so to those folks, I appreciate you because without your pictures, um, I'd just be up here blabbing away. So, so the, the great gear owl, um, Julie and I were trying to figure out what a really good title for this presentation would be. And um, 
pretty good, Julie. Found them in the north. Um, this is a northern hemisphere species, and, and you'll see that um, Washington and the lower 48 are kind of in its southern, uh, southern as, um, aspects of its range.